we go. Day 13. Not a Friday. Probably still unlucky given how things have gone so far for me today. Battery died on the camera just as I was about to do this earlier. Day 13 of Chocolate Lego Chocolate. All Star Wars. All Advent Calendars. Poundland Chocolate. Lego Lego. Marks and Spencer's Chocolate. If I didn't have to say Day 13 I could just copy that from a previous one and save myself some time. We've had so far some good, although slightly unstable, some bloody awesome, some tolerable, it's an Ewok, and uh, some, no, actually, no, some total crap. Right. Can't even stand up on its own. It, sorry, that just that that was day one. It did not set a good precedent. So ha, here we go. It is thirteen. I need to find a one followed by a three. I think that's the convention for writing thirteen on the Poundland Advent calendar, which is still my favourite of the calendars. Mm, that's a bit harsh on the Lego one. My favourite of the chocolate calendars. It's a competition of two. So, in fairness, it's uh, not going too badly. Although, if we get more bloody Ewok stuff or stupid little models, the Poundland calendar might be my favourite of all calendars. Ever. I'm struggling here. I'm struggling to keep finding things to say while I find the number 13. I've been decorating today. Um, as you can see, it's a 1 followed by a 3. That is indeed 13. Picture du jour. Oh, look! Just to uh, just to amaze us with its novelty and its rarity. Darth Vader in badly focused purple, which is coincidental because that's a similar shade of badly focused purple as I've been painting today. I don't think do you looks do a badly focused purple. They should. What's the chocolate going to be? Hidden behind foil. Is it a space shuttle? I don't think it's going to be, but it could be. Could be a space shuttle. Which isn't very Star Warsy, but is at least a bit spacey. No, it's a load of bells. Or one bell, but the pun doesn't work quite so well, singularly. Uh, I hope it's going to taste the same as the previous ones, because I do still like the taste. It does. Yeah. That tastes like like chocolate coins, which I will say, I had some um, chocolate coins that were pretty huge. I mean, I mean, the chocolate coins should be more coin sized, or is that just me being crazy? Um, in fairness, that amount of that chocolate at a time is bordering on too much. It isn't too much, but it's getting close. Talking of close, I am close to finding the number 13, and in fact I have. And I was going to say everybody's favourite, certainly mine, well apart from Han Solo, but he is just too cool. Um, it's R2! Hello R2! So what little chocolate goodiness have you got for me? Oh my god R2, you're exciting but the chocolate is questionable and larger than the window down one side. Nope. I can't figure it out yet. I don't think I'll work it out when it's the other way around either. We shall see. Yep. What did I just say? I still don't know. This is... Have you ever seen... Oh, is it The Fly or The Fly 2? The one... Um, spoilers ahead for one of these films. I think The Fly 2. Um... At the end, there's this hideous combination. Actually, no, even in the middle, the dog. The dog creature thing in the Fly 2. I think this calendar is, is the, the, the medical waste bin of the company that have the Fly teleporter things. Because, the hell is it? Hey, not only is it not Christmassy, it's, it's not of this planet. It's... Oh, it's a melted dog-headed 
calf lamb. I, ooh. Um, unfortunately, because it's the Marks and Spencer's calendar of chocolate I don't like, it probably tastes worse than it looks. Oh, God. Please, Lego, please have something that isn't this. I'm, I nearly reached for the rum then, just to help get this chocolate down. Oh. But, because I know you've all been missing Stephen Moffat's glorious desecration of Doctor Who on a Saturday evening recently, we have today a little helper. Will it predict correctly? And let's carry on. Yes, the Sonic was reading, you've run out of space on your memory card, mate. Marvellous. There we are. Where were we? Here's the Sonic. And the Sonic is saying, enough of this, you blew it when you ran out of space on the memory card. Yes. So, on to 13. Starting to feel very much like a Friday, isn't it? Number 13, I can see you. How much more wrong can this go? We're going to tear the box. Am I going to open this and some sort of apocalyptic horseman run out at me? Let's find... Well... It's a bag of bits. It's a bag of probably 13 bits. In fact, I'm going to count them. One... Two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight. There may well be 13. My, this day just hates me, doesn't it? I think we can guess that it's... It's going to be some sort of droidy thing. So, I will be back. Unless, of course, the end of the universe does happen in the meantime. Because it is the number 13 today. I will be back with this shortly. Yep, a droidy thing. Not a bad little droidy thing. Ain't not a 3PO. Definitely not an R2. But an okay little droidy thing. Yeah, he's fun, was quick, easy. And there were some leftover bits. So he's a droidy baboon bottom. It just had to be done. Um, what do I think? I think the sooner I finish this, the sooner we can stop worrying about a 1 followed by a 3. No doubt the rum is going to have turned into... I dread to even. If I say it, it will happen. So, a rum of celebration, commiseration, or just a desperation to get through the rest of today. <laughs> ah, it tastes like technological failure. Is that the droid you've been looking for? Not anymore, it isn't.